another segment filled with phenomenal options. We have our finalists here for best truck. Yep, we've got the refreshed Honda Ridgeline and the new Ford F-150, both vehicles that scored very highly on our test this year in very different ways. You know what? The, these two trucks obviously don't compete with each other. One sure. is obviously a mid-sizer, one is a fold-sizer. But that says we look at a truck and we're evaluating it in so many different ways to win this award. Yeah, I mean, a, a truck really needs to be so many different things nowadays. Yeah. It obviously needs to be able to tow and haul a payload and stuff like that. But it's not just about that anymore. It's also about getting the job done more efficiently, keeping passengers comfortable, and having decent performance both on and off road. It really has to be a complete holistic package. So let's take a look at our final. Let's do it. The Honda Ridgeline has been one of our favorite midsize trucks for the last few years, and they've given it a facelift for this model year. They've reshaped everything from the A-pillar forward, so the hood is all new, the grill's all new, and it definitely looks a little bit squarer and stronger and more truck-like than it used to. A little chunkier, a little stronger, those are all good things when it comes to restyling a truck. Absolutely, but the best thing is they've reshaped it and made it look more truck-like without losing all of the great things that made it special in the first place. That super comfortable cabin, the reconfigurable bed, and everything like that. You have a special spot in the cabin. You like the seats, right? I do. I think that these are the absolute best seats in the entire automotive universe, I could spend 700 miles in those seats and get out without any complaints. Definitely, this thing eats up miles, no doubt about it. And that also is due to its powertrain, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's got a 3.5 liter V6, naturally aspirated with a nine speed automatic transmission. That's new for 21. And it really kind of combines to give this thing excellent on-road performance, decent off-road performance. It can tow a small trailer and it gets good fuel economy. Yeah, really good fuel economy, which is always something to look at in this segment. Finally, there are a few tricks in the bed. Every Honda Ridgeline has always had an in-bed trunk, and this one is no exception. It's so smart. It's such a great little feature. It's really genius. It gives you just a little bit more cargo space down low for, you know, for mulch or for bags of uh, potting supplies, or, you know, you can throw some ice and drinks in it and call it a cooler. Yeah, you can take it to a tailgate. I love that it's drainable. Yep, and speaking of tailgate, the tailgate on this one folds down and swings out so that if you've got a heavy load, you can kind of just put it right in the bed instead of having to lift it over the tailgate. Yeah, it honestly amazes makes this truck that much more versatile, but it has stiff competition in the Ford F-150. Absolutely. The heart and the soul of the Ford lineup for years now, all new for this model year, the Ford F-150. Yep, the 2021 F-150 is hugely important for the company. Like you said, it's been the best-selling vehicle in America for decades, so Ford had to get this right. Luckily, they did. As you can see, it looks really good. It's got some modern new styling, these C-shaped LED headlight a accents. Few things to make it a little different. Than yeah, that. you know, it kind of has the same basic shape as the truck, and that might be because it has some of the same architecture as the old truck. Right. But <laughs> they've done so much to update this thing, and it's really a wonderful machine. Styling tweak, not huge, but you know what it is? The new powertrain underneath. Yes, this one has the Power Boost hybrid engine, which means it has an electric motor sandwiched between the 3.5 liter twin turbo and the 10 speed automatic transmission, giving the F-150 Power Boost best in class torque for the half ton segment. Power is coming up a lot. They're using that in a lot of marketing. Power Boost means hybrid. In the bed, we have Pro Power. What does that mean? This car has Pro Power on board, which is Ford's onboard generator. This particular vehicle is wearing the optional seven kilowatt system, which means it has a 240 volt and three 110 volt outlets in the bed, as well as one 110 volt outlet in the cabin. All that adds up to meaning you can power a welder, you can power some tool chargers, things like that. Or if you're going tailgating, you can put in a margarita blender, blender and a TV. More Tons of cool stuff that you, you can put in this mind. truck. It might be my bias because I'm a part of the, the video production team, but there are so many different things you can plug in with the interior as well. Yeah, this vehicle has the interior work surface, which means the shift lever folds down and the armrest flips forward to create a nice flat desk. And despite this vehicle size, it's actually a pretty decent on-road performer. Thanks to that torque that you get from that hybrid engine, this thing is so responsive. It's really fast off the line. It's really great for towing. It's just easy to drive around town, which isn't something you can always say of a full-size truck. Two of our highest rated trucks this year. Now let's pick our winner. You heard it gliding smooth. It's the Ford F-150 Power Boost. You know what? This is a phenomenal truck. Let's start this by saying our entire editorial staff loves the Honda Ridgeline, right? We absolutely do. This was a unanimous decision, yeah. but it wasn't an easy one because we all really appreciate the comfort and on-road performance of the Ridgeline. Ultimately, I think they just added enough thoughtful features to this new F-150 that 
it was almost impossible. And really with our purposes especially, we were plugging laptops, computers, camera chargers, all kinds of stuff into that ProPower onboard system. And it made it so that we could get out in the boonies and work all day long without missing a beat. For the midsize segment, the Ridgeline is phenomenal, but this is absolutely the best truck in the full size segment. 100%. They could not have done this better than they did. Very minor complaints. Overall, it's just excellent and does what it does really well. And that's why it's our winner, our best truck, the 2021 Ford F-150.